What's up guys, welcome to another White Belt Mistakes video. Today we have Doe on the show. Doe was doing a good job of getting to a good passing position, entering into the headquarters, and next attempts a knee slide. I used my left instep to put Doe's knee onto the mat where there's no knee slide available. Then sweep him with what's kind of a cross between a butterfly sweep and a scissor sweep. I do this all the time when I want someone in my half guard, placing my foot under theirs and lift so their knee drops. Doe's right hand grip on my lapel was good when his knee was up, but now from half guard, it's leaving him vulnerable to being swept to that side. Look how I shoot my hips across so that Doe's weight is past my center line. Because I had control of his right sleeve, he couldn't post out to stop me. I don't need the sleeve anymore though, so I switched to the pant grip. The guard is the leg, so that's what you need to control. I get rid of Doe's knee shield by bringing my elbow to the inside. The knee shield is an example of inside position. We want to control the inside position, not them. I lift up on the pants and circle my elbow in, and now I'm in a much better passing position. I back out though as I feel it'll be path of least resistance to go around Doe's guard instead of through it. You want to break grips with two hands as it's much stronger than one. Doe just grabs it again which is a problem you'll often run into. You don't always have to break lapel grips. In this case I make space to get past Doe's feet with the Toriano pass and go all the way around to the other side. Doe is trying to get onto his side which is smart but my right arm used as a frame stops him. Doe is trying to get an underhook, but often when you lead with your hand instead of your elbow, you leave yourself vulnerable to attack, because now you have an open elbow which is prime Kimura territory. I'm trying to always go for variety for you guys so you don't see the same technique over and over, so I figure here I'll try a reverse triangle, but they're way harder to get in the gi rather than no gi. Like here, I would need to drop my right knee down to get the correct angle, but that's going to be more work than it's worth and may end up being boring, so I just move on. Doe has some pretty good passing. No Notice how he keeps his hips far away. This makes it very difficult to establish a real guard on him. In all these white belt mistakes videos, it's always the grip choice that screws them. What is the point of Doe's right or left grip? Nothing. Neither one are controlling me. They're also leaving Doe vulnerable to being swept. This is the exact same sweep as last time. I often like to let people fight off the sweep by posting on their hand or elbow, as it opens up opportunities for triangles and more. I couldn't get my right foot over Doe's arm for the triangle, but I have a plan. I let Doe escape his arm so I can catch it in my armpit for an armbar. I was really hoping to get this, but I didn't have my angle perfect and Doe rolls through, but he's not out of danger yet. I don't want Doe to come up on top so I grab his pants, but then I transition to my shin on Doe's face which will serve the same purpose. It was quicker to get my shin on Doe's face rather than adjust my angle and use my hamstring like traditional armbar leg positioning. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. I really want to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Every like, comment, and sub helps me get there. Doe does a good job here. He keeps his hips far away and when he does enter, it's in a pretty good passing position with his knee on my thigh. He takes it out though, which is fine, but it'll just mean he's got to pass my half guard, but instead he starts pressure passing anyways by pinning my knees together. To counter, I just frame with my hand and circle my leg in when I have the chance. Doe could go for a double underpass or maybe an over underpass right now, but instead hangs out with very little control over me. I shoot my right foot through so I can push off of it and lift with my other for this butterfly sweep. As I come up, Doe's grips are stopping me from getting on top of him, so I just move to the side to deflect his frames. Doe has his arm in a really good spot with his elbow tight, making it easy for him to get an underhook. This time he led with his elbow instead of his hand. Because I go knee on belly, Doe should switch to grabbing my leg and work towards wrestling me from his knees. My my body is just too high for the underhook to still be effective. Doe is smart to hook my leg, he could start working some dogfight from here. He would just need to get his knees and belly towards the mat. I'm just thinking how I want to approach this position, then I see space to loop in my own underhook. And now, just a directional change of my knee and I'm in the perfect position for a knee slide. Picking up Doe's arm just stops him from getting onto his elbow and onto his side. I need him flat on his back. My foot is stuck so what do I need to do? I need to pry it out, and I do so by using my other foot foot as a wedge. I often threaten the Americana just to get people to turn their back to me. I then shoot my leg through Doe's elbow and knee. He should have kept that space protected. That's inside position. Doe is doing a good job of protecting his neck by fighting my hands. I trap his top arm with my hook to make it easier for myself. Now it's my two hands against his one. I lose the trapped arm but I already have Doe's collar so it's no big deal. Doe does a great job of getting off my center line to escape my hooks. I don't mind because I always have options. Like 
like I said before, it sure is nice being a black belt. I transitioned to this high back control, which is suited for arm bars and triangles. Doe turns into me, which would have been great for him if he had dropped his elbow to the mat, but I stop him before he can. Two hands on the wrist is going to offer the best control to finish and prevent the escape. I have plans to start a weekly live stream where I break down rolling footage from viewers and high level matches plus Q&A. Let me know if you think that'd be cool and if you'd watch it. These are good grips for Doe. He could start working the knee slide, but instead he brings his hips far away like before. Having your hips far is good for going around the guard. An example of this would be a Toriano pass, which it looks like Doe is trying, but my grip stopped him from going to either side. Now he's completely disengaged, he's not going to be able to pass my guard from all the way out there, and now I loop in my lasso grip as I have complete freedom of movement due to Doe's lack of control over me. Doe's left knee is too open, he should be pinching my leg with his to limit my leg's mobility, because now I take my leg out of the half guard and start working for a triangle. It's when he postures up that it makes it easier for me to bring my leg over his arm. His high posture makes it difficult to lock up the triangle itself, making the arm bar a better option. Normally from here, I like to cross my feet with my inside over my outside, just to secure it from being pushed off, but it didn't end up making a difference. So that was three arm bars in a row, and the next one coming up will be the fourth. It's a super cool one, so make sure you keep watching. Okay, back to passing, I take a spider guard on Doe because I know he wants to continue passing on the outside, and these grips will stop him from being able to pass on either side if he doesn't break them first. I let go of my grips as I want to let Doe work a little bit. It's smart of him to pass side to side, but he couldn't get enough angle with either attempt. Doe should be looking to smash my left knee down. Because it's mobile when he moves, I can move too and counter him. I also use my right butterfly hook to further stifle his attempt. If you get kimura often, this is the reason why. It's your open elbow. If there's space to loop my arm through yours, then that's what I'm going to do. Doing a roll like this, or the kimura trap in general, is super important to keep their wrist above their elbow for maximum control. In that position, their arm is really weak. Once I have more kimura trap footage, I'll start working on that video. I wanted to take those back with the roll, but instead I come up to the standard Kimura position, sitting on Doe's face. Guys, don't forget to always shower before class. I'm trying to prevent Doe from taking defensive grips. One thing I like to do is to cup the hand so it's impossible to grip with the fingers. I lose it, but it can be really hard to break defensive grips from there, so preventing the grips in the first place is a good example of working smarter and not harder. Now we're in the crucifix, and I'm just trying to figure out what's going to be the easiest slash coolest submission to get from here. I try and get my style points whenever I can, and the crucifix armbar will provide me them. With those arm trapped, all I have to do is press my hips into his elbow to get the tap. Not only when your arms are trapped, but just in general, I recommend verbal tapping, saying tap, or both as is better be safe than sorry. Alright, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Please leave a comment or fist bump if you're still here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and I want to say a big thank you for those of you that support me on Patreon.